In the health center tonight, scientists using human cells have recreated the earliest stages of human life for the first time, leading to some new questions about the ethical use of the process. News Nation correspondent Felicia Bolton explains the science and the debate. For the first time, U.S. scientists have used human cells to mimic the earliest stages of development. Two research papers published in the journal Nature detail how two teams independently created these models. One team used embryonic stem cells and the second team used reprogrammed skin cells to produce balls of cells that resemble one of the earliest stages of human development. The process revealed what happens after a human egg is fertilized. Before this, we would use mice embryos and mice eggs to mimic the human model. And the reason being, you hit the nail on the head, is that it's unethical to study the infertile patient population. Dr. Ruhi Jelani is a reproductive and infertility specialist at Vios Fertility Institute in Chicago. She not only helps couples conceive, she is a patient herself. Dr. Jelani is not connected to these studies, but she says this research can help all doctors understand conception, miscarriages, and pregnancy better. What happens from the minute you put it in to after, in either implantation or miscarriage, and that's that black box that we don't know. She admits there are ethical concerns with studying human reproduction, partially because infertility patients are vulnerable. Dr. Andrea Jeffries is a board certified OBGYN in Pennsylvania. She is not connected to the study as well. An ethical concern that she believes can occur when studying human embryos is cloning. Well, of course, we're always pushing the limits of what is ethical to, to um, what is considered life and what is considered your proprietary DNA, the things that make you you. And will people have the right to use your cells to clone in the future? The researchers stress at this point, their work is for research purposes only and not for reproduction in humans. Dr. Jeffries believes if the study is done the right way, many people could benefit, not just those trying to conceive. What about all the good things that can come of it, like spinal uh, cell column regeneration for people with traumatic um, spinal cord injuries or brain injuries? Felicia Bolton, News Nation, Chicago.